Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Thursday. Yeah, already. <laughs> Can you believe it? This week has just flown by. I know, most of them do, but I just can't believe it's Thursday already. So, gosh, you know, just busy days every single day. And I got my hair done. Yay! <laughs> don't you just feel so good after you get your hair done? It's like, I feel human again. There's just something magical about what they can do that we can't do. At least I am not great at doing my own hair. I got to leave it to her. I just need to go in like every couple of weeks and just have her do it, right? <laughs> How is everybody? Happy Thursday. We're going to make some ice cream. Okay, so we have two. We're going to do two. We're going to be really adventuresome this morning. And I wanted to ask you, so um, I have all my chalk paste out here. Having a little bit of a hard time with my shoulder. i um, not sure. I slept on it wrong or something. But um, lifting my arm hurts a little bit. So I have all my chalk paste color. I'm kinda, I am kind of. want to kind of go retro with, with this. Um, but have the nice, um, good ice cream colors. So I'm going to need your help with things like that. So I have lots of colors out there. Um, what I need help with is the background on this one, on the one that is the chocolate shape. Okay, so so we have, th this one is going to have an ice cream cone and it's cut out. So I'm going to do, the background is going to be light buttermilk and then, and but maybe it shouldn't be, maybe it should be black and white. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn on this because I want it to be retro. Um, but maybe the words, so the words on here is going to say, and, and this should be everybody's motto and I'm going to make a triple decker ice cream. Okay. So, <clears throat> and I can't sell the ice cream. Um, so I'm going to give you that part free. <laughs> I can't sell it. I can't sell it because chocolate drawer has those shapes. So I'm going to give you that free <clears throat> when you buy the whole thing. Okay. So when you buy the whole thing, you're going to get these little ice cream pieces free with, with all of this. So, um, yeah, cause Chocotor has, has the ice cream thing. So I can't, I can't sell it. Um, anyways, life is short. Eat ice cream first, right? <laughs> Why not? And I've done that quite a few times. So that's going to go there. I'm trying to decide, maybe I do a white background, do, um, teal on the outside, do the letters red, maybe. And then the ice cream, just regular, you know, just like regular and ice cream. So I'm trying to decide on that. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to paint the background on this or not. If I want to paint it, um, it's white. Okay. So should I just leave it white? I could just leave it white. And then um, we have, so this is the transfer for that. And, um, say hello when you hop on. <laughs> They're really starting to make some decisions. Here's the transfer for that. So we have cutouts at the top. And I want to do red, red and teal. So I'm going to do, but I'm not sure what to, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure if I should do black on the background. Maybe I should do black background. Um, I could, it doesn't, all, okay, so sometimes it peels up. Remember when you, when you um, paint on this plasticky stuff, sometimes it peels up. It might be a little rustic, but um, this is so cute. Best in town, ice cream, shakes, cones, sundaes. And I have the cutouts for the sundae. And then I have the cutouts for the words, ice cream. I didn't do the ones on the bottom. I don't think you don't have to have cutouts for everything. Oops. And I just dropped a piece. Um, I'm kind of trying to decide what I should do. What do you guys think? Maybe I should paint the background black. Maybe that would be, maybe that would work. What do you think? Uh, maybe black on both of them. Paint the background black. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do that background black. What do you think guys? <clears throat> We're going to try it. <laughs> You know, if I hate it, I can flip it over, right? If I if I hate it, I can flip it over and do the background another color, right? Absolutely. Um, this might be the longest live of the, of the week. <laughs> Anyways, if you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay so I know you are here. Let me see who's here and let me share it to my VIP group. How is everybody? Happy Thursday. I'm excited about this one. I was kind of like, do I really do this one? This is a, this is a big project. Okay. And doing, and doing two, but you know what? We may as well, right? If we're, if we're getting all our ice cream on this morning, we may as well get all of our ice cream on, right? <laughs> so we'll see how I've seen some really cute ones. I hope I can do it justice. Um, but I'm going to need your help. 
gonna need your help. It shared a VIP group. Okay, perfect. And then I, I was putting a hot towel. I heated a towel in the microwave and put it on my shoulder. There's just something about it. How about banana cream yellow? Um, oh, maybe, maybe. Let me look and see. Um, let me look at read everything. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. Thank you, Betty. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I love it when I get my hair done. Um, hi, hi, Cindy. Hi, Sa Sandy. Hi, Doris, my sister. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Stephanie. Hi, Bridget. Give me all that coffee, girlfriend. <laughs> hi, Julie. Hi, Denise. Good morning, Tina. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Deb, my sister. Hi, Lori Walsh. Coffee and ice cream. Yes, give it to me, all of it. Hi, Laura. Hi, Betty. Good morning, Cynthia. Hi, Tony. Oh, still want my phone. <laughs> my phone just jumped off the thing. <laughs> not good. At least it has a it has one of those bounce cover things, that is, so it's not going to break, hopefully. There we go. <laughs> Let me try to balance it another way. Oh, my goodness. Um, hi, Marilyn. Good morning. Ice cream for breakfast, guys. <laughs> um, Tina's is white. Um, hi, Karen Ross. Hi, Denise. Banana cream yellow. Um I that might go with the retro color. It could. Um, hi Kathleen. Hi Sandy. Um, Cindy, you're thinking of just leaving the leaving the large sign white. I know. I kind of I kind of wonder if I should just leave it white. Okay. Well, we if we don't like it, if we don't love it, we can do it a different color, right? So okay, let's do that. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff here. A lot. Okay. So I've cut this apart already. So this is a size. Um, D transfer. Okay, so a size D transfer is an 18 by 18 size. So it comes with all this goodness on it. So this was, of course, sideways. And then here's the ice cream cone. Okay, so look at that yummy cone, a waffle cone. And then um, this has a cute little cherry. So we need to paint these things and then we'll chalk everything. Okay, so, so let's start painting. And so you're thinking I should just leave the background white? I could just leave it white. I could absolutely just do that. Let me put my transfers down on the ground. Um, but we need to paint all these little pieces. Um, you're bummed to see to see keeping it real was sold out and you waited to purchase it. Oh, but you got a few. I wonder if it'll restock. Um, I'm not sure. I did not get extras of that one because I because it's small. Um, I didn't plan on doing any projects with it because it is really small. So, okay, so what? So I was going to do white on the background and then do teal for, the, for this part. Okay, so I need to find a teal paint that matches everything else. Um, crystal, crystal blue? Nope, nope. That's not the right one. <laughs> um, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, we'll do crystal blue. Crystal blue is a good... Kind of, kind of. I think I need a different... Why am I looking for a different color, guys? A different bluish. And not that one. <laughs> Sorry. Aqua Sky. That's what I want. Aqua Sky is a better teal color, I think. Or, you know what, guys? Here, I just, I can just paint it with... I can just paint it with eggshell. Let's do that. And then I, get, then I get the color that I know that I want to go with everything. Okay, so the outside, we're going to do that color. And leave it white, but maybe do some dry brushing. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Um, okay, we need to paint these things. I could do dry brushing on it. Okay, so let's get our board and let's paint all the stuff that we need to paint. <laughs> So the cherries, they kind of need to be painted um, a reddish color because of the, um, they're going to be red. So I need to get a red color. You know what I'll do is I'll do, I'll do them wild berry and then we'll do cherry on top with the cherry on top. Okay. So let's just put this to the side. Maybe we'll do something with it, something on it. <laughs> and let me get my board so we can paint. So we can paint. Yeah. I got something going on with my shoulder today, guys. So I'm going to be doing this. Oops, I almost dropped those. I'm trying to juggle things. If you actually saw what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, Ellen, how are you? You're going through some of your past purchases now, so you can do a project. That's great. That's great. Um, 
Hi. Oh, did I say hi, Christy? Sorry if I didn't. And thank you for sprinkling, Laura. I am trying to do this, and I have this in one hand, and I don't want to spill all of my colors. <laughs> I have way too much up here, and there's not enough room. Okay, and I have my laptop right there. And this needs to, I'll go up on here. <laughs> this needs to go here and I'm trying to get this down. All right, let me just move these colors. There we go. Whew. And there's lots of squeegees. I'm gonna just move my squeegees for now. I don't need those yet. Let's move those up there. Yeah, it's a hot mess Thursday. <laughs> It's a hot mess Thursday. Darlene is having a struggle here. Okay, let's get our stuff painted, base coated. Okay, let's get the base coating done. So we have lots of stuff. We'll probably just hang that off the top. We'll do these. We'll just do these guys. Let's do these with our um, eggshell blue. Okay. Yeah, you can paint with your chalk paste. And then um, this is going to be, what color ice cream should we do? We should do strawberry ice cream. So let's paint this with our peachy keen. And then we're going to chalk it with, um, with Mobilis. Okay. And then there's, there's a little cherry that goes on top of that. And here's that other cherry. Try to get all the things out here. <laughs> all the things. Okay. These words. Okay. Let's move this up further. This says ice cream. Okay. This will be white. And then we're going to do three different colors of ice cream. So this is the cone. So we'll base coat that. We're going to have vanilla ice cream, strawberry, and chocolate. Okay, so we have to kind of do our colors. So once again, um, let's let's do the top part. Let's do chocolate. Chocolate with the cherry. And then, or should we do vanilla? Maybe vanilla on the top. And then chocolate and um, strawberry. Okay, so we have to base coat everything. All right. Hi, Janelle. How are you? Uh-oh, it looks like it froze. Did it freeze? Or it's just on my screen. Can you get it? Did I freeze? Because on my screen, it's frozen. Will you guys tell me? Tell me if it froze. <laughs> it looks like it did. Okay. I'm going to put my hand out there. I can see my hand. <laughs> Are we okay still? Are we okay? Oh gosh, I don't. I don't need to have issues today. <laughs> I got enough issues. I don't need to have other issues. It froze on your screen. It's, fro it's frozen. And now is it not frozen? It froze. And no, nope, I'm okay now. So it was frozen, and now I'm okay. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> gosh, you guys. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't do that again. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, so white for this. So the background on that is going to be white. Some of the things will be white. Like the ice cream part will be white because I'm going to chalk the words. Okay, let me see if I have a bigger brush. That would be helpful to have a bigger brush. Not that big. Huge. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing? It is a hot mess Thursday, I tell you. Yeah, yesterday was just a day full of paperwork. Again, I'm done with paperwork for a little bit. I'm done until they tell me they need more. <laughs> I had a huge project that I had to submit yesterday. Yeah, not fun, not fun. So I worked really hard getting everything done. I pretty much ignored everything else in my life just so I could get that done. <laughs> okay, so, so just white on this. Okay, and then... The words, the background for the words ice cream is going to be white. So let's get all of our white done. Okay, this little banner is going to be white because when I chalk it, it's going to be teal and then the words are going to stay white. Okay, and then um, ice cream is white. So it has not been my, my you're right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it is, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on in this universe. I actually... I think the Switcher Studios is having issues. So it doesn't surprise me. You know, sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's the internet. But I think it's Switcher Studios this morning. <laughs> but guys, if, if something happens, I'll just stop it and I'll come back. Because I really want you to see all of this. I think it's going to be super cute. All right. Hey, I have I have a great feel-good story. So there is a puppy that, it's a, it's a Shih Tzu puppy um, that's been missing from Compton, okay? So since July of last year, 
And I've, I've been looking, you know, for people, you know, there's a lot of people that are on my list that I keep an eye out for their dog. And this particular dog had no tail. And so it kind of stole my heart, you know, because we have, we have Stubby that has no tail. And so this, this little baby, I, I've always been thinking, gosh, I, I, I wish that I could find this baby. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? I didn't find it, but somebody did. So, so this sweet little baby, this sweet little puppy, we're going we're gonna to paint these parts, um, teal, was found in Albuquerque, one of the places I've been looking. So I've been looking for, I've been looking for um, Chloe in many sites. We expanded, we expanded where we were looking. So I had seen this dog on there. I seen somebody had found this dog and it was like, wow. Um, I hope that, I remember commenting last week, make sure that you go and get the chip red. Make sure you get the chip red. So so somebody found this cute little dog last week in Albuquerque. And I and a lot of people don't know what to do when you find a dog. And one of the very first things um, when you find a dog is to ask your neighbors if it's their dog. And then if if it's not their dog, like in the immediate area, the next the next thing to do is to see if it has a microchip. Because if it has a microchip, then that puppy's going home as long as the people have registered the microchip and have kept their their information up to date. Okay, so I'm just painting with um with eggshell blue. I'm I may need two coats. I love this color. This color is so gorgeous. Well, I think we'll do some dry brushing on the background of the big part with this. Wouldn't that be, or maybe, maybe I should use a different color. Maybe I should use camel on it, on the background. Um, anyways, so, so fast forward to yesterday, I see a post from the person from Compton and she says, I need some help getting my, my baby home. Um, I just got a phone call from the animal shelter in Albuquerque. <laughs> There, my puppy is there and it's been missing since July. And so whoever had picked up her dog and stole her dog and moved to Albuquerque or was passing through and lost the dog and the dog was picked up by, by a stranger and brought to animal control. Animal control scanned the microchip and voila, the puppy's going home to Compton where it belongs. So, so I'm, I'm like, I'll, I'll donate some money. I'll, I'll help. So, so then someone on the page is like, my sister lives in Albuquerque. Hang on a second. I'm going to try to make some connections. So, so pretty soon um, they made connections with a rescue over there that said, okay, I have, I have rights to pull puppies uh, from the shelter. I'm going to, I'm going to pull your dog tomorrow. I'm going to keep it here at my house with my dogs until, um, until my the lady sister the whoever's the sister that of the person um, can get somebody else to go with her and is going to drive the dog home because the owner the owner was not able to just all of a sudden pony up the money for a plane ticket and all of that so there all these people are coming together with donations helping get this dog home but isn't that amazing so the dog had been missing since July so that's July. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, 10 months. Dog had been missing 10 months and re reunited. So um, that not that amazing? I just, I love feel good stories like that. Okay, so HL Blue is this color. Isn't that great? That is such a great color. I also want to do, I'm going to chalk this. Oh, I need to chalk it. I need to paint it in white because I'm going to chalk this part in eggshell blue. Isn't that such a great color? Okay, I'm going to put that up there. So I need to paint, I need to paint this white <clears throat> because it's going to be chalked in blue. Let me look at the, let me look at the transfer and see. Oh yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So anyways, I am so excited for this person. They're getting their dog back after 10 months. And it's a little Shih Tzu that doesn't have a tail. It's, it's part poodle. So it's part poodle, part Shih Tzu. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them. Isn't that just the greatest? It is just the best. I just love stories like that. <laughs> okay, the cherries. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to base coat the cherries with wild berry. I know. I, I, I just get so excited when I hear things like that because, I mean, anything is possible, right? Anything is possible. I am, oops, that needed to be shook. It's all, 
I, I am going back down to put out more signs um, in the area where Chloe's been sighted. And I have somebody there that's going, going to meet me. She actually called me yesterday. She's gone, have you heard any, anything else? Has anybody seen? I was like, there hasn't been any other sightings of her. She said, I've been walking the park and the baseball field every day, twice a day with my dog. And I haven't seen anything, but that's but that was one of the areas that, that Chloe was seen at um, in the last two weeks. So she's been walking twice a day. She's like, if I see her, I'm going to just grab her. <laughs> So anyways, I ha I have her I'm going to I'm going to meet up with her and I and I also have some other ideas on where to take things. Okay, I actually need to do part of this green. So the stem the stem part is I'm going to do a light green so that and may so I do need to chalk that. It's going to be chalked. The stem is going to be green. Let me just get a green, a light green. But I'm going to do yeah, let me just get, get a little bit of light green. I'm just going to open this up. Maybe just dab some from the center. I hope this turns out because I think it's going to be super cute. <laughs> I might have to keep it for myself. I'm like, I just need to, I just need to take out my kitchen cabinet so that I can have room for, for um, all this cuteness. <laughs> I need more wall space. I need more wall space. Anybody else? So when, when you go with an open, like an open, um, whatever, when, when we open up a wall and we take down a wall. So when we take down a wall, we lose that space that we desperately need <laughs> to be able to, to be able to put um, all these cute things. So you lose both sides when you open it up. We opened up the kitchen to the living room when we first moved here. Okay, burlap. I'm going to do this part burlap. We're going to chalk it with our camel. So I want to make sure that I have two different colors there. My... My ice cream, my vanilla, I think I'm going to, let's see, let me look at my vanilla. I got to look at the ice cream part. Okay, it's just the outline part. So I need to do it like in light buttermilk. So we're going to do, the cone is going to be in this color right here, which is burlap. Okay, so, and then we'll chalk it. We're going to chalk it with camel. Um, you have no wall space either. I know, gosh, isn't it, isn't it difficult? I have lots of wall space in my entryway. And my wall space in my living room, my husband called dibs on that. <laughs> what I need to do is just get my craft, this room here, back in order. And behind me, I could do a cute little ice cream thing. I, I cut out all the letters, the lemonade, the lemonade um, sign. I cut out that. I got so much stuff ready, guys. I have so many projects ready to show you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to do vanilla at the top, strawberry, and then or, and chocolate. Or should we do, oh, let, no, we should do this because, um, yeah, well, maybe that's right. Chocolate. No, chocolate should not be right next to the cone. Um, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Hmm. What order do you guys think I should do? I still I still, still need to paint this regardless. Okay, so one, so one of them needs to be pink. Maybe the top one needs to be pink, or should this one be pink? Whatever's next to the cone. Should the one next to the cone be chocolate? Maybe it should. Yeah, okay, let's do the one next to the cone chocolate. So I need to just get, I need to get like a light color. Um, I actually could probably use, use this same brush and just add a little bit of brown in there. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Hi, Pam. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, let's do this with chocolate, but let's mix sable brown and our burlap. What's on the brush already? So I'm going to kind of make a color. I'm gonna, I don't want it to be too dark because I'm going to chalk this one in bark. Okay, so this one's going to be chalked in bark. So I kind of just mixed a couple of colors there together. All right, maybe I need to put a little bit more. No, actually, that looks like a good color because it's going to be chalked with, with bark, and bark's a lot darker. Okay, so once we take all the pieces off of here, there'll be more room to do all the things I need to do. <laughs> There's not enough room for everything. Okay, so chocolate. Um, should I do strawberry on the top or vanilla? Probably vanilla, huh? Vanilla, so I need to do light buttermilk on the top. <laughs> Hi, Pam. How are you? 
I think I need to do light buttermilk. You know, it's kind of a toss up. Maybe I should do white. I'm going to be chalking it. Look at, I'm going to be chalking it with Dune, which is, oh, it's a little bit darker. Okay. Let me just put a little bit of white in there because I want it to be a lot lighter than that. <laughs> We're mixing colors today, guys. So, because um, I want it to be lighter so we're going to do the vanilla on the top and then we'll do strawberry. So we need to do this one strawberry also. Okay. So really light and then we'll chalk it with Dune. All right. This is going to be super cute. I'm so excited. Excited to do this. When I saw it, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, this is one. This one's gonna be perfect. Okay, so cotton candy is the color I'm gonna chalk this. I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna paint it, and I'm gonna chalk it with marvelous. Okay. So, oh, actually, what was I gonna do? I think that I was gonna use peachy keen to paint this. So let's paint it with peachy keen. Trying to find a place to put stuff. <laughs> I need. I need to have an area that's like twice this big. And. I need to spray just a little bit of water. That is a little bit too thick. So let me just spray just a touch of water on there to kind of thin it out. Yeah, there we go. So so base coating with Peachy Keen and then I'm gonna chalk with Marvelous. Okay, so that's gonna be our strawberry. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting there, guys. This is going to be adorable. I'm so excited to do this. I saw, I watched somebody else do theirs, and I was like, yes, I need to do it. Okay, so the white needs a second coat, but I need to dry. I need to dry. Okay, so this was my, this is Peachy Keen. <laughs> let's dry, and then let's put a second coat on the white, and then I think we're good to go. We can start chalking. Yep, I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys are all having a great day hi sylvia how are you thankful thursday hi carol which lemonade sign the porch leaner yes sorry i kind of didn't finish what i was saying hi michelle how are you you guys our group of people headed to africa yesterday they are probably there now they probably got there and they got to go to sleep I haven't I haven't seen anything this morning. Anybody seen any reports back this morning from our group of people that went to Africa, our chocolate tour people? I'm so excited for them. It's such a great opportunity. If you ever have a chance to do it, just jump on it. You will never regret it ever. You will not regret it. I love I just love I love lots of love. I love what they do. Amazing, amazing people. And you know what's really great is that um, Nancy Economy, the, the founder of What's of Love, her son's girlfriend, and now wife, <laughs> now wife, is going for her first time with them, which is really cool. So his new wife is going. I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm putting a second coat on the vanilla. All right, and then we need to do second coat on white. So let me just grab white really quickly. And we'll get some white out there. <laughs> this might be too white. Might be too white. Okay. Oh, good. My shoulder's not hurting quite as bad. I was having a hard time even lifting my arm this morning. I hate when that happens. I, uh, evidently, I slept on it wrong. Or one of the dogs slept on my shoulder wrong. <laughs> I woke up this morning having to use my other arm to move my left arm. And then I, I, I heated up a towel in the microwave. And had that on it while I was while I was making my coffee. I'm sitting there holding a towel on my shoulder, hoping that it's going to help. <laughs> it seems to be doing better. I just have to keep going, guys. That's what I have to do. I just have to keep going. I love this. This is going to be so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, let me just get, I think there's enough paint in this. Let's get this and then that little ice cream bowl right here. And then we'll dry and we can start chalking. I'm so excited to do this. Guys, it's going to be adorable. It really is. Really, really, really is. Okay. You saw Thelma's picture on the plane. Yes, I saw, I saw their picture on the plane. 
<laughs> but I haven't seen anything since then. Um, you know, it's a long, it's a long ride. It's a whole day to get there. Praying for safe travels for them. They're going to a different area in Malawi. They're going to where the, um, the child rides were released. They're going down to the dead zone. So, um, it's going to be an amazing experience for them. I am so excited for them. Okay, white, come on. <laughs> yes, I, and you know what? I am I might be a little jealous that they're going, but it wasn't my year to go. So both Tracy and I, we, we prayed about it. We knew. We knew before the names were even drawn. God told us we weren't going. Both of us have health issues this year. I have my surgery coming up. She has some issues coming up. <laughs> she was having lots of lots of allergy issues. Okay, I think I think we're getting there. You definitely don't want to chalk on anything that is wet. Okay, so that's not a great idea. And we were going to do something with this. So so we're going to do some dry brushing with this. So I'm just thinking, I'm trying to I'm trying to decide what kind of dry brushing I want to do. I'm what do you think, guys? What color should what color should I put on here? What color should I dry brush on the background? So so this is what it all looks like. So this is the whole transfer. I'm kind of just thinking, I'm kind of thinking that I want to just put um, like a neutral color, like, like some, like a little bit of like burlap or something on there. I'm kind of thinking just like a neutral color with a little bit of dry brushing. Hi, Shelly. How are you? I, yeah, just here and there. And that way, if it peels up, it's okay. I'm just going to dry brush. I just don't want it to be a hundred percent, um, this color. <laughs> 100% white. So how about if we do a little, we could do that on the other side too to match. So let me just get a little bit of, bur this is burlap. Now I need to be careful so I don't go crazy on the edges because I have other stuff here. I feel like I need a whole other thing. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do just, I just want a little bit of something on there. So I'm just going back and forth, just putting a little bit of color in there so that it's not 100% white, okay? Okay, see? I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, let me set that to this side. And then let's do the same thing with this. Let's do the same thing with this. Um, but let's go on this. Let's go up and down. So I'm going to just turn it just a little bit here and there. And this is just one of those little brushes that are the little scruffy brushes that you get in the paint area that are like 29 cents. No, they're not. They're probably a dollar now. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we can take... Let's just go ahead and we'll take everything off of here and we can start chalking. We'll put this to the side. That'll be last. We have our ice cream. And we have all of this. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot. We have a lot to do. We gotta take off all these pieces. All right, these are the this goes around the outside of that sign. The word ice cream. I'm going to try to do this without tipping stuff over. <laughs> All right, let me just scooch this down. Yep. And then we're going to take off some of this stuff. We're going to put it right up here. Let's just stack it. Have all of our ice cream. We are going to have to wash that one transfer, like, for... Because you can do, you could do, like, 12 things of ice cream if you wanted to do a really tall ice cream. How cute would that be to just do something whimsical that is just a very big, tall ice cream? Okay, we gotta chalk all of that. You move my board out of the way. Back down here. <laughs> On the floor with everything else, with all my other boards. Okay, all right, so these don't get painted, so those get set to the side. 
this gets painted, but we have to look at colors. All the ice creams get painted. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me get my Clark Swipe, Clark Swipe to the rescue. Okay. <laughs> so we can do, we can do our ice cream cones first. If we want to do that, we can do our ice cream cones first and then, and then work on this. So we, we do have a little cherry, the cherry on top. So that's separate. So that's separate. So we should do the cherry first because then we're going to do, then we're going to do the whole thing. So this one's going to be vanilla, but let's do the cherry first. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up. I'm going to stick the cherry in there and we're going to do the cherry by itself. And then we're going to wash this transfer because when we do, when we do our ice cream, well, actually, I don't know if we're going to need to wash it. We might not need to wash it. Let me line it up. Okay. You guys see okay? Going a little bit. <laughs> okay, the colors. I have all my colors over here. All right, so this one's actually cherry. So we're going to use cherry on this. And then I have um, I have moss for the, for the stem. It's not quite lined up the way I want it to be. Let me just move it. Let me just let me just scooch this over. <laughs> I really want the stem to be lined up really good. So if I line the stem up, let me just try this again. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a little squeegee. And I'm just going to dip it in here. So this is moss. Going to going to chalk the stem in moss. Okay. And then my, my cherry is going to be chalked in cherry. Okay. And then I'll show you what we got. And then I think I will have to wash the transfer because I'm chalking the top part. The top one is in vanilla. And I can't get any of this color on that. So we're going to wash this little transfer. But what we should do is we should chalk the next color. We need to wash two transfers. So so let's chalk one of the middle ones and then we can wash this transfer in the next one. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at how adorable. There's our little cherry. That's the cherry on top. <laughs> That's super cute. Okay, so let's just set this to the side for a second. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one. So this one's going to be our strawberry. We're going to use our... Marvelous. <clears throat> it's marvelous. I don't have some of my chalk paste. I need to, I need to get new colors. I need to go through all of my stuff and get more. Okay, so marvelous for this one. And then we'll wash these transfers. We're gonna reuse this and do chocolate for the next one. It's marvelous. Okay. So cute, guys. These are, these are adorable. I love, I love the ice cream one. I think this would be fun for the summer. You know, you could have a little, you could have your grandkids over. You can have your friends over, have a little ice cream social. <laughs> do they do that anymore? <laughs> Where you, that could just be, it could be in your dessert area. So you could have a barbecue and then you could have like an ice cream sundae bar. How fun would that be to have this on an ice cream sundae bar? Okay, getting all that extra off that I can do. Get it all off nice and smooth and then peel. Okay, we're peeling, we're peeling. And check out how cute this is. And then we're gonna wash this transfer. Look at how cute that is. That is super cute, super duper cute. Okay guys, we're gonna wash these two transfers because we need to reuse them both. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just scooch that to the side. I'm going to spray this and I'm gonna wipe it with my Clorox wipe. Do I have water? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I have water. Okay, so first, oops, gonna gonna wipe them with a paper towel and then I'll grab a Clorox wipe. So hi Lucia, how are you? What was the color? What was the color of the chocolate ice cream again? On um, the chocolate ice cream, I mixed two colors. I used burlap and I used um I don't th don't think I told you sage brown. So that's why you don't know because I didn't tell you. <laughs> so I mixed those two colors for the chocolate. And then we'll chalk it in bark. Okay, so so your background color matters. All right. So if you wanted your your strawberry to be darker than that, I I did um what color did I do? I did this color. I did peachy keen. 
but I think that's super cute. I, I really like that. Okay, so let me just get all of the, let me get these all cleaned so that we can use them again. I, I think this is the best way to do it, is to wash that area where that's, where the cherry was, wash that. <laughs> because you don't wanna get, you don't wanna get that on your vanilla. Okay, so, cause that one's good, the top one's gonna be vanilla. All right. Okay, I'm gonna grab my, my fuzzing cloth. Let me move that up there because I just chalked those. Don't want anything on them. I'm gonna put this on my fuzzing cloth and dry, okay? So putting this on the microfiber side and drying. I know, isn't it so cute? I just love it, guys. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing the love. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna do vanilla with this one. Okay, I got lots of lots of things going on here. Okay, so vanilla. Vanilla. So I can just do this whole thing vanilla because the because the cherry goes on top. Okay. And then this one's gonna be our chocolate. So this one's gonna be in bark, and the other one is going to be in um dune. Dune. I did get out bubbly. I wasn't sure if I need it for anything. If I need other colors too, I'll dig. Okay, so this one's gonna be my vanilla. Great color for vanilla. Just gonna dip in there and let's do our vanilla first. So we have our background color. The background color was light buttermilk. So your background color really matters because this is just putting details on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna chalk that whole thing. So this just puts the little details and I wanted it to have enough contrast. Let's see if it did. Oops, and I missed right there. Don't rip it off like a Band-Aid, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah, perfect. Perfect, guys, look at, look at this. Will you look at that? And I I need to go back, oh, it's that way. Okay, it's like a little dotted line at the bottom I thought I missed, but nope, check that out. Check out that detail, that's perfect. Okay, so light buttermilk, and then I used um, Dune. Yep, perfect. Okay, gonna move this to this side. Where is my backer sheet? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Actually, that's not the right one. I have one on my keyboard of my, my thing. Okay, so lots going on here. It's, it's like a hot mess. It is like a hot mess here, but it's okay. Okay, then this is gonna be chocolate. So it's gonna be done in bark. All right, so just grabbing a squeegee. And is that the right? Yep, that's the right one. <laughs> so you try to have some, try to have a really good contrast. You want you want a light background and a dark detailing. Or close, you know. Okay, so there's there's that. So this is our chocolate. Look at this. Look how cute. Look at how cute that is. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so that's our chocolate, okay? Now we need to do, we're gonna do our cone. We're gonna do our, our waffle cone. Okay, I have all this stuff here. I have so much, so much going on. Okay, what did I do with my backer sheet? I just had it, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, don't put it back on the yellow side. That's the wrong side. Put it on the white side. You have to run. Okay, yes, yes. Well, I have everything as a kit. I will. I'll have it as a kit. I can't sell the ice cream cone because Chocotour makes it. So I'll just, I'm going to give it to you free. I can't sell it though. But um, if you buy the whole set, I'm going to give give it to you free. Or you can get the Chocotour one. Some of you already have that. Okay, this is the waffle cone. We're going to chalk this in um, camel. My camel looks like it's a little dried out. Let's check it and see. So this is our camel. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited. <laughs> oh no, there's some. You know what? I have so many colors that I am almost to the end of them. I, I need to order a few colors of chalk paste <laughs> for me. I just had my big sale. And guys, I don't keep stuff for myself. I need to go through the drawer and throw out the stuff that's not good anymore. Because you know how that goes. Sometimes there's colors that we don't use for a whole year and they're going to be dried up. So you need to do your chalk maintenance. <laughs> you have to be stirring and all of that. Okay, are you ready to see? You ready to see what this looks like? I can't wait to see this waffle cone. Oh my goodness, guys, look at how cute that is. That is adorable. There's our cute little waffle cone. How fun is that? That is so darn cute. 
<laughs> so darn cute. Okay, so we can do, let's do the first, let's get the first sign done. Let's just get it completely done. All right, so we're going to chalk this on here. So what we do need to do is we need to glue on, this is the one sign. I got so many things, I have so many jars here. <laughs> If you don't have the accent color, just add a little bit. Yes, exactly. Yes, you can definitely do that for sure. Okay, let me scooch this up. I think I could actually just, we're just going to lightly set that there. And I don't need that one anymore. Okay, so this is going to go on here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put these on. So I know the, so I know placement, okay? Okay. Let's dry the ice cream cone so that I can put that on there too and know where everything goes. Yeah, or white to light. No, absolutely. Yeah, just play with your colors, guys. I am one that does that all the time. <laughs> okay, my words are going to be in red, but I could do... I, I could do... Okay, so so let's see. I think I want the ice cream on the left side. My words on the right. I'm just gonna place everything so that we know where it goes. Did we? We're gonna do chocolate down there. So these don't these don't line up. Um, the chocolate transfer they're not perfect. I think I need to work on that. I think I would want it to stack nicely, but um, but maybe maybe like that actually looks good. And I'll have something underneath of it. And then here's the cherry on top. Okay, look how cute that is. Guys, that's adorable. And then this is going to be right here. Should I do it? All? I think I should do it all in red. I think I should do it all in red. Okay, so if I line that up with that on the edge, and then that's in there. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so there's my placement, guys. There's my placement. Is I line this up. I center it up and down. And then I'm going to do all of this in red. This is going to be so cute. And I'm not inking anything. Okay. So maybe I should maybe I should ink the outsides of these. But that's it. Nothing else is going to be inked. I love this. Okay. Going to peel this. I am going to fuzz it. It's, it's super sticky, guys. So I sometimes when I peel things off and it's that sticky, I know that I need to fuzz it a little bit. I just, I'm just going to... Just kind of, okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold a corner so that I can peel up easily. And then my placement is just right on the edge. So, and then we'll glue this one together and then we'll finish the next one. Is that, that might be, I think that's pretty close. I think that, you know what? I think that's good right there. Get all your air bubbles out, okay? No air bubbles. And then we're going to use our cherry red. We don't want any bleeding. Remember the other day when it was a bumpy surface and it bled? <laughs> we're not doing that today. Okay, I'm going to take my squeegee and just grab some of that, that cherry and just spread. Okay, if you can butter toast, you can do this, guys. It's as easy as buttering toast and then just scrape off the excess. You know, like when you have to scrape your toast when you burn it and you scrape off that, that burnt part into the sink so that your kids will still eat it or your husband will still eat it? That's what you're doing. You're just scraping off all that excess that presses, pushes that down into the silk screen to the bottom, to your surface below, okay? That's what that does. Make sure you didn't miss anything. I'm looking at it all. And then we're going to peel. You need to peel before it starts to dry. Okay, this one is starting to dry on me. So we're going to move that up there and let's peel. Okay, don't rip it off like a Band-Aid. If you have to lay something down, you can. And you also don't want it to splatter. Okay, so you want to make sure that um, it's not going to splatter. My tea. Sometimes you miss a little area or it doesn't go through. Sometimes it doesn't go through. You got to lay it back down. Look at this. Look at that. So that I or the C, sorry, the ice, <laughs> the C part needed to be redone. Yeah, there's like a little area. It might be that way. So sometimes there's distressing in the 
and the transfer. I think it's just that way. Look at how cute this is. That's adorable. Okay, the R at the bottom. So that's why I don't just rip it off. I want to make sure because I don't want to have to try to line that back up. Okay, there we go. It looks so good. And I look at I chalked my hand. I chalked my hand. <laughs> okay, let's try this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a Clorox wipe for my hand. <laughs> and it's okay. And you know what? I have a little bit of red on here. Guys, here, let me try to get that off. Let me try to get that off. Clorox wipe to the rescue. <laughs> okay. All right, let's dry. Dry, dry, dry. And then we're going to assemble this one. Look how cute that is, guys. This is adorable. I love it. Love, love, love the colors. Make sure it's completely 100% dry. Okay. All right, let's let's glue together and then we'll do the, the second one. I think these are gonna be fabulous. Okay, we're gonna glue our pieces on and we'll tape them. Okay, so we're gonna tape, we're gonna tape the edges so that it doesn't move on us. I just use Allie's Tacky Glue. If you want to use your super glue that you use that, if you have a glue that's your favorite, just keep using it, okay? You don't have to change just because I say this is what I use, unless you're having an issue, and then go ahead and try it. I actually have another glue that I, the glitter glue stuff that I need to try. <laughs> I bought it and I haven't tried it yet. I just need to, I need to have time to sit down and, and play at night instead of doing paperwork at night. And I've been cutting out things. Remember the peachy keen? Uh, the peachy, I think it's um, peachy something. Anyways, the new sign, the peach one and the watermelon one. It has all the teeny tiny peach pieces and the watermelon pieces. I got that cut out. I just need to post everything. It just was too late by the time I got everything done last night. I have lots and lots of cutouts to, to post. Okay, there we go. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> there's a little piece there that looks so cute guys this is so cute let me go in a little bit and let me just tape the edges because I don't want them moving on me I know it's so cute makes you wish you had bought this transfer yesterday oh yeah yeah I know it is it's a great transfer it really is you know it's a big it's a big one but you can you can use it for a lot of things I I love that so I'm going to tape my edges I'm just going to lift this up and tape them so they don't move just a little tip of mine. And it actually will only take about 10 minutes. So by the time that we get done with our other one, we'll be able to take the tape off. Make sure it's all lined up. And then you're just going to tape it. So I'm going to tape every corner so that they're not moving on me. And then I'm going to put the ice cream cone in place. This is so stinking cute, guys. And I love this color. So this was perfect. I love the eggshell blue. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna glue all of this. I was kind of thinking that that I needed um, the hot glue gun on too, but I think we're gonna be okay. All right, so this is gonna be first, and then we're gonna do our chocolate. And like I said, they're gonna kind of overlap like that, and then like this. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these as well. Do I think I should? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe on this part. Maybe on that part. But the bottom part on the ice cream cone at the bottom is going to be fine. So this is all going to go like this. And like that. And then that's going to be right there. How's that? That maybe up a little bit. There we go. Okay, how's that look? That looks so cute, guys. I love this. How fun. Okay, now we have to take that apart. <laughs> but but the cherry's just going to go on there. Okay, so the cherry just gets glued right there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, so glue your cherry in place. And I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to ink the edges. I think that we're just going to leave it. Okay, and so that needs to be like half an inch from the bottom. It's probably less than half an inch. Okay, so right in there, right in there. Okay, and then chocolate's the next one. So I kind of think that it's gonna work out fine to just 
to just put this like this. I, I kind of think that it's going to be fine. I don't think I'm going to have to put the foam stuff in there. I think that's going to work fine like that. Okay, and then this is next. Does it need to go over just a little bit, huh? Okay, and then, so I'm just putting the glue right here. I'm really not going to be able to lift it up to show you guys because things will start moving. I'm going to have to keep it laying flat. How fun is this? I love this. This is so adorable. So stinking cute, guys. I love making cute stuff. <laughs> I love making cute stuff. It's always it's always a joy to be able to make something that you love and enjoy doing. And it turns out cuter than heck. Oh my goodness. That is so stinking cute. I think that I think that's good placement right there. I love it. Okay, let's do our next sign. So like I said, we're doing two signs. I need to lay this flat. <laughs> Darlene needs a flat area. Okay, right down here on the ground. So I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna trade places. Stay right there, no moving. Okay, so I have this. <laughs> so we did this, all right. Now we have to decide what all to do. Okay, so the best, the easiest thing to do, guys, is to do is to chalk these parts first. Okay, it really is. It's it's better to to chalk these first. I am gonna have to wash that that cherry. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful there. And oh, guys, so where's my ice cream? I did both the same color. You think I? You th I think it's gonna be okay to do both of these um, strawberry. I could have done. I could have done a different color. But I really would have to figure out where it all stops at. Okay, so I need this. <laughs> Let me move a couple of things. Holy cow, I have way too much going on. Way too much. <laughs> all right, this transfer, we're gonna we're gonna take this part away. So we'll do this last. All right, so moving that. And let's let's just start. Let's just start somewhere. So I'm gonna peel this up. And let's get, let, let's start at the top part and peel this down. And let's see if we can get the ice cream in place on here and just leave it on this little sheet. Let me see if I can get this in here. Let me see. Let me see if I can. All right. I'm, I'm going to try to line it up and lay this down on here. Not sure if I can. Okay. I think I have to, I think I'm gonna have to take it off the sheet. Okay, so in order to do this, let's take it all the way off. Let's take the whole thing off and it's sticking to itself. Don't panic if it starts to stick, just gently peel, okay? Let's, let's just take this whole thing off and we'll get that in there. <laughs> you guys, you guys, it is definitely a hot mess Monday. Oh no, it's Thursday. Let's just peel this whole thing off. Okay, take this off. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this to the side and then let's just lay this on here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this upside down and then we'll flip it once we get everything on it. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to do it like this. I need to check that out because, see, it kind of interferes with that ice cream cup there. So that could be a problem. I need I need to look at it, but I'm not gonna flip it over onto my desk. I need to flip it over onto here so that it doesn't stick to my desk. Okay, so it's a little bit high. I need to move it down. That's what I thought. Okay, so it's a little bit high. Let's move it down a little bit. It needs to go down just a little bit. It can be a challenge. It can definitely, it can definitely be a challenge. Okay, so let me start from this side and let's let's go from this side down. There we go. I th I think that this is going to do it. Okay. All right. So let me just kind of peek without. Okay, that looks great. That looks great. Okay. Now let me get the ice cream bowl in there. Right in there, just like that. Okay, and then the ice cream. 
and then we'll do the cherry last we'll have to we'll have to kind of wash that but it's okay and then this piece okay so we're just going backwards we're just going from the back side and then I'm going to flip this over and we're going to decide on colors okay so we want to we want to carry on with our teal and our red theme okay that looks good even though there's a little bit of area here, I still feel like that could be moved down just a little bit, don't you think? The ice cream part could could be moved down. Maybe it, maybe not. Maybe it should stay right there and just have like a little thing at the bottom. Maybe it should just stay just like that. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so I wanted to do the outline, all this area here. I wanna do which color should I do on the outline? Should I do red? Should do red and do teal. Okay, so here's 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 my thoughts, guys. Here's my thoughts. Oh, we should do red, teal, all of this teal and this red. Okay, what do you think? I'm kind of thinking. Need another set of hands? Absolutely. You want to come over here? <laughs> okay, okay, so red, red teal and then all of this teal that's what i'm thinking and maybe that maybe these words will be red okay you know what i think i'm gonna have let me look and see if there's another cherry in here there has to be i have to have another cherry somewhere somewhere because that one is almost out um i if, i i might have enough oh my goodness can you believe that so Hi. Um, I have bite me. That's not the right color. So let me look on my shelf. Do I have? I think I have another cherry right here. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. So I think I need another jar because I think that's going to run out in the middle. So let me just open another jar right here. Sue, I need you. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. So I have another jar and it was all to the side. Look at that. That's so funny. Okay, so I might have to wash things. I'm going to try to be really careful on this. I'm going to try to not have to wash things. I'm going to use a smaller um, squeegee up here and try to get this. So this one's going to be red, and then the ice cream is going to be marvelous, and then we're going to do teal on this. Okay, perfect, perfect. I think that's how I want it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we're just going to try to do this and not make a mess. Can you hear my dogs? That's Stubby's being ornery. <laughs> the girls are probably trying to share the doggy bed and and he gets he gets pretty grumpy. He's a grumpy man. He's my grumpy old man. He's getting up there. He's having a hard time walking lately. His legs just kind of flail out. But he's not in pain, you know, he's not going around, you know, like he's in pain or anything like that. He just, he just will stumble. And I'm like, oh, guy, okay. <laughs> I'm not ready to say goodbye to you. I am not ready. Okay, there we go. There's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this up and get this piece out of here. Super cute, guys. So my words should be white. Yay. My words are white. Yay. Okay, so that's how that turns out. And let's get that out of there. We're just going to have to work from the top and go down. Look how cute that is. That is super cute, guys. Adorable. Okay, I need to set that to the side so I don't touch it and mess it up. <laughs> okay, the ice cream is our marvelous. All right, let me try to get some in there that's not all... Like I said, a lot of my, a lot of my um, ice cream... I love my ice creams. A lot of my chalk paste is getting to the end that I've used it so much. Okay, so doing my marvelous. And yeah, so two, two scoops of strawberry ice cream. And then we'll go back. I'll, I'll have to wash. I'm going to have to wash that part to do the cherry. Okay, I knew that I would because it's just too hard to try to avoid that area. So I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just wash that little area there with a Clorox wipe when I'm done here. Or I could or I could wait and do the cherry very last. Okay, so there's my strawberry ice cream. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. We'll just do that whole thing. We're gonna, because I have a separate little cherry, okay? 
Okay, so now I'm going to peel that up. So we're talking and peeling, talking and peeling. Let's get the ice cream part out. Look how cute that is. Okay, being very careful. And then we're going to do the, the look how cute. <laughs> Super cute, guys. All right, and then we're going to do the bottom part. Bottom part's going to be my, um, and I, I don't know where a squeegee is. It's going to be, oh, I haven't used it yet. It's going to be my eggshell blue. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is going to be really pretty. I love it. Okay, getting right to the edge there. And then the word ice cream at the bottom is going to be red. Okay, try not to go into my, my pink ice cream. <laughs> All right. Okay, peel that up. I know this one's taking longer because I did two projects. But I wanted to do everything at once to show you. Okay, there's the cute little ice cream dish. Look how cute that is. Super cute, guys. Finding a place for it. Okay, and then we're going to do the word ice cream. And that's going to be in red. Okay, so it is a little bit off. I'm, I'm not going to fix it. I think I kind of like the idea that there's going to be a little bit of a, a white at the bottom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my bigger my bigger one. Let's move that. Let's grab our big squeegee, take a big chunk of this, and just get this whole thing done. <laughs> That's a lot of chalk paste. And then I'll scrape off the excess. Yeah, it doesn't take a ton. It really doesn't. Um, but there's a lot of open area on this one. I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be so cute. I, lo I love retro. I just, I adore retro. It's my favorite. <laughs> I love the teal and the red. And the cherry's perfect. And I love the eggshell blue. Okay. All right. Extra goes back in. Going to scrape. I'm going to make sure I clean my fingers too. I have, I can feel that I got some on my finger. Look at how fun this is, guys. I do have some of these transfers. I didn't know if they'd sell out right away. Okay, I'm just wiping my finger because I have chalk paste on it. And then we're going to peel this off. And then we can we can actually probably wash that little area and do the cherry if we wanted to. Or we can wait till we're all done. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at how cute this is. This is fabulous. If you just need the word ice cream on, on a sign, you could just do... You could just do this. Okay, did I miss at the top? Hang on. Hang on. It looks like I missed right there because I was being so careful. I was trying to be so careful that I didn't didn't make a mistake. Okay, I don't want to fold this over, but I want to get this out of here. And I'm trying really hard not to touch it because there's like so much chalk paste. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. That is amazing. I, I need to set that somewhere that's not going to get messed up. Okay, so I have this whole thing. Should I go ahead? I should just go ahead and wash the, um, let me just use a Clorox wipe. And I'm going to wash the little area where that, where the cherry is. Let's just do that. We'll just use a Clorox wipe. I think we can do it and we can just, um, we can just do it right here. So I'm kind of thinking this is going to be good enough. Let me get a paper towel. And then we'll do the cherry. And then we're going to put this whole thing onto, we got to put this whole great big thing onto our surface and do all those little things that go on it. Okay, this is going to tuck right in here. So try to get, try to get it lined up. Oops. Okay, almost, almost there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we need, we need our green, which is, I'm going to just, you know what, guys, I am just going to use a little stir stick and do that because it's just a tiny area. So I'm just going to use a stir stick to do that instead of getting a, getting anything. My, my squeegee that I used is being it's like in the way <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to try to get in here 
and get my cherry done. All right, we're getting there. So the challenge will be getting this onto my sign without making a mess with anything. <laughs> okay, there's my little cherry with the cherry on top. So cute, cute little cherry. That's gonna go right there. Okay, so let me just pull. So we need to move this and I need to bring in the sign. And I really do need another person. <laughs> I really do, but um, we'll make do. We'll figure it out. So it, ne it needs to go onto here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna peel this off of here and we're gonna try our hardest to get it in place. So what I'm gonna try to do is get the bottom. The bottom doesn't have any chalk paste on it. So how about if I flip this up and I get the bottom part aligned and I, I just need to not get that all over. I'm gonna try to line that up and then just kind of roll it up. We'll see. We'll see. Oops, it's not on. <laughs> it's it's close. It's close. It's close. Okay. Come on, Darlene. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, okay. All right. I think I got it. I did. <laughs> I got it. Hey, hallelujah. Okay, so now we have to do all the teal, all that teal area. I actually have a little detail tool that I'm going to use. This is going to be easier, a detail tool for all of that little area. But I do want to get my air bubbles out. So let me just grab, let me just grab a little squeegee and let's just get air bubbles out so that we don't have big air bubbles there. And then um, I was thinking that the words down here, should I do the words in um, red? Probably, huh? The, wor the words should be in red, but all the little line works can be in teal. I am loving this, guys. Uh-oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let, me grab a, let me grab a Clorox wipe and see what I can do to fix that. I did not want to do that. <laughs> so, okay, I think we're going to be okay. Let me just peel that up. Let me get that off of there. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We're just going to have to go ahead and go and do it because I'm starting to make a mess. You know I'm messy. Yeah, no, I'm messy. Look, at I have that there too. Let's just do it. And if we have to touch something up, we will. <laughs> And I actually think I need to just use a squeegee. Let's just use a squeegee. Okay, so instead of the detail tool. Okay, let's just do, let's just do this. We might, we're going to chalk and peel, chalk and peel, because I'm not going to be able to do the entire area um, and have it look the way it's supposed to. And I know this is teal right next to the teal cup, but that's okay. It's all right. It will be fine. So let's just do half of this, and then we're going to peel this up. And I did just pick up a little bit of red. I'm not worried. Don't sweat the small stuff, guys. And it is all small stuff. Remember, it is all small stuff in life. Right? Yeah, just do your best. Ignore the rest. <laughs> you know, you, you can't be perfect every single time. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. And I think I really like this one, but I, I'll end up selling. I always say, I'm going to keep that for me. <laughs> do I do it? No. Okay. I have to peel soon. It's starting to dry. So I'm trying to get right up here at the top and get this. And then I'm going to go over this area. There is red on there. Hopefully it's not going to be terrible. Okay. So let's peel this up and let's see what we got so far. And then we'll keep going. Oh, that's so cute, guys. Look at how cute that is. So stinking cute. And you know what? It doesn't matter if I do the if I if I was to go over the entire um ice cream thing, it would be fine because that would be placement for you. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, let's keep going. Now the words down here, I'm gonna do them in red. Okay, so I'm gonna there was like a black thing. What was that? I don't know what that was. A little goober. There was a little goober there. Okay, the words I'm going to do in red, so I'm going to have to kind of hustle and get this done. It is turning out so cute. Guys, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go sideways. 
and make sure I get chuck paste on there. Want to be careful not to get into the red. <laughs> this is where the detail tool comes in handy. If you have that detail tool, it comes in really handy right there. Get all that area. Grab me a little bit more. I'm almost done with my with this, and then I'll do the red really quick before I peel it. We're almost ready to peel. Okay. That's where standing up to do this. You, it's kind of a must. All right, looks good. Okay, red. <laughs> Look at my red. Oh my goodness. Okay, so dip it in the in there, and then just try to get this done without getting it in the teal area. <laughs> I have a lot of tools to wash. We're getting near the end. We'll be assembling everything. Now this is a plastic surface. Okay, this is a chalk tour surface that, um, and I have a bunch of them, so I can sell this whole thing. Okay, I picked up a little bit of my teal. I'm gonna try, I need to, it's time to peel, okay? It is time to peel. It looks good, looks good, looks good, guys. Okay, let's peel this off. Let's just go sideways. Let's see what we got. That looks really good, guys. It is looking good, don't worry about that. That's where words go in there. So, oh my goodness, guys, it's so adorable. Okay, this big piece is gonna go onto my backer sheet. Okay, goes onto my backer sheet. And then I gotta wash my hands again. I got stuff on my hands. <laughs> so that's the back part. Okay, all right. Woo! I have a mess here with all my chalk paste. I'm, I, I'm a messy person to begin with. Okay, I have one little area to just fix up here. So, oops, and I just dropped the lid to my detail tool. Of course I did. It bounced into there. My dogs will be eating it soon enough. Okay, so I have a little area here that didn't didn't get connected. I'm going to just do that. Just tap, tap, tap with the detail tool. Isn't this fun? This is, this is so stinking cute, guys. And I'm just going to put it on the wall with the little Velcro things. Okay, let's dry this, and then let's assemble everything. All right. Yay. It's turning out. <laughs> it's actually working. Good. And I like, I like the idea of just dry brushing. Okay. So the dry brushing was perfect. Perfect guys. So if you want this, I'm going to have, I'm going to make it into a kit. I wanted to make sure it worked first. You'll be able to buy all the pieces. I do have some of the transfers, but I'm not gonna have all of the chalk piece for you. That's just, we use so many colors. You're gonna have to get all that on your own. And a lot of you have all your colors anyways. Okay, so let me make sure that this is dry, the ice cream. And then we're just gonna put everything down. We're gonna make sure everything looks good. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't wait to see this all done. <laughs> What do you think? If you love it, give me some give me some hearts. If you love it, give me some hearts. Okay, here this goes here. The ice cream goes right there. Okay, we're going to be using these because glue on here does not work and hot glue won't stay. You know, you see people using hot glue and shame on them <laughs> cuz they're not teaching you right because it's not going to stay. Hot glue is not going to stay on plastic. I don't care what they say, they're wrong been doing this too many years so listen listen to the professionals all right look at how cute that is um it looks like i need to touch up like just the edge the edge um yeah let me just grab white and let me grab a stent a little uh stylus just need to touch up the edge right there it just didn't get, and then we'll dry that. What do you think, guys? I think this is so darn cute. It's worth the effort. <laughs> I love the colors. Do you love the colors? I think I could probably, well, the reason I can't go higher is because I actually chalked a little bit of the thing, but um, I think it's super cute like that. Super duper cute, guys. 
Does this go up or down? Maybe it goes down a little bit. All right. Very cute. If you love it, give me some hearts. I would love some hearts. <laughs> I am, this is so fun. So fun, guys. Okay. And if you're just hopping on, this is the other one we did. And it's almost dry. So that's the other one that's going to go with it. And we can take the tape off now. We can take the tape off the corners. It has dried enough. Oh my goodness, guys. I love it. It is fabulous. It is fabulous. So, <laughs> okay. Now we're going to get all of the words and stuff on there. So we're going to use the little, that is so cute. So cute. Um, let me put the lid on this and then I can set these on top of this. Um, yeah, if I move stuff, if I move stuff around and get some of this out of the way, I actually have to wipe that. Let me make sure there's nothing on that. <laughs> my lid, my lid has um, red on it. I don't want to, I don't want to contaminate my chalk paste. I was just going to lay this right over here so that you can still see it. There we go. Perfect. My head's in the way though. Yeah. Turning's big head is in the way. <laughs> let's, let's just scooch these things down. There we go. There we go. Okay, life is short. Eat ice cream first. Okay, here we go. We're going to use these. All right, you can use strips of it if you want. They, they make this in strips. So um, we're just going to take a bunch of them and put on here. That's going to be the, the best thing to use on here because, like I said, you, the other thing you could use, you could use E6000 if you really wanted to, but it's smelly and it's not good for your brain. You, if you're using E6000, you need to use that outside. Okay, so we're just going to peel these guys. We're appealing. You can get these at Dollar Tree. Okay, so I don't need to, I don't need to give you these. You can go to Dollar Tree and get these little squares. You can also go on Amazon and buy a ton, buy a lifetime supply. They're not, they're not expensive at all. Okay, let's get this in place. Make sure it's centered. Right there looks good. Does it look good? Maybe over just a hair. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now we're gonna put the bottom part on first because I need to get that lined up. But we're gonna put we're gonna put this on here. One, two, three, four, probably probably four, or maybe three. I don't know. Anyways. All right, here we go, guys. This is looking so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do the ice cream bowl part first. So like I said, do do it like this with these with these little sticky things because this is plastic, okay? That's a chocolate tour surface. It is plastic and you can't put hot glue on plastic and have it stay, it will come off, all right? But these little sticky things will stick. Okay, let's get this lined up first. I'm gonna go as high as I can. And then make sure that this is going to be, yep, that's going to be perfect. I haven't pushed it down yet, just in case, just in case I have to move it at all. So I'm just kind of getting it lined up. I love it. I know. Now you want to eat ice cream. I know for breakfast, huh? I don't have any ice cream here or that would be a great breakfast. I, I did have ice cream when I was up at the cabin. Okay, there's our, and I love this color. I love the Marvelous with that. Okay, and then the cherry, the cherry, I'm just gonna use my my regular glue. Okay, my regular glue is gonna glue the cherry on. The cherry on top, guys. So so what I did was I base coated that cherry with the color bear, Wild Berry. Okay, so that was my base color was Wild Berry. Okay, all right, this is last. Okay, make sure there's nothing wet there. Um, don't want to mess it up now. Okay, this needs quite a few, and I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You know, you feel it coming on, and you're like, I cannot hold this back. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, so yeah, so there's a lot of these. Just spread them out. You want them to be here and there. That's why I have these great big sheets. So go to Dollar Tree, and you can get them, or you can order them on Amazon. I can't, I can't supply you with these. There's just, there's just too much. There's too much that you need. <laughs> I don't have enough. I don't have enough, but I can supply you with everything else. 
Um, it's, you need your own chalk paste. Because, guys, you might want to do different colors. You might not want to do the same ice cream colors or, or the same theme. You might want to do it a little bit different. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So, so I'm going to continue working on all the cutouts for the transfers. I have, guess what? I have the farm one done. The, the barn. of The barn with the cows. I have that done. But we're going to take a break in between. So probably tomorrow we'll do... I need to get things that I need to get done. I need to do the rest of the um, Cinco de Mayo for you guys. And I don't know what else, but but there's some things I need to get done <laughs> before I continue with transfers and all of that stuff. But I have, but I will post it. I have the I have the the farm with the barn and the silo and the cows and the chicken and the fence. I have all of that cut out. I just haven't posted it as, as cutouts yet. And um, I have the watermelon. I have the peachy, the peach one. All of those done. Those are going to be so cute. I, there's a lot in this launch that I really like. A lot. Okay, we're almost there. Two more. <laughs> Sorry, this is the boring part. This is the boring part of my job. Yeah. Okay. All right. Going to flip that over. Line it up before you before you press it down. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, let me look in the thing. Yeah, that looks good. I think everything, I think it's lined up. Then I'm just going to press. And there we go. And we're done. We are done. So the only thing that really has to dry on this one is that cherry needs to dry. Um, I don't want it really moving around. But this is so stinking cute, guys. I love it. I'm going to give myself some hearts. I love it so much. I'm going to give myself some hearts. And if you are not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle, which sprinkle is S-H-A-R-E. So um, let's, let's share the love. Aren't these cute? These are going to be so cute together. I love this. How fabulous. Okay, let me put you up to myself. We are done, guys. We are done. It was a long project. I know. But sometimes you just need to do, you need to tackle two things because they're, it's on the same transfer. We're using the same colors. <laughs> Aren't these great? These are so fabulous. These are going to be so cute on a wall. I hope the same person buys both of them. These are going to go to my craft show. <laughs> Let me go in a little bit closer for you guys. Yeah, yeah, these are fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, guys, thanks for being here. Let me just kind of lean this up. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for being here.